Hello, my name is Antonina Brokova. Today is Saturday, and I'll tell you the fairy tale about Sleeping Beauty. In a faraway kingdom, there is a king and a queen. They don't have any children, and they have always said, We wish we could have a child. This is their only wish. One day, while the queen is having bath, a frog crept out of the water and says, you may have a daughter in a year. The frog is right. The king and the queen have a little daughter. The king is very happy and he gives a big feast in his castle. His friends and the wise women come to the feast. He has only 12 golden plates for 13 wise women. So one of them stays at home. The feast is very nice and rich and all the guests enjoy themselves. The wise women are so happy that they give magic gifts to the little girl. One gives virtue, another beauty, a third riches and so on. When the eleven of them finish their wishes, the thirteen wise woman comes in. She is very sad and she is crying. She says, I wish the king's daughter pricks herself with spindle and dies. And she runs away. All the guests are shocked. The twelfth wise woman comes forwards and tells her wish. She can't undo the evil wish, but she can change it a little and she says, she shall not die, but sleep for a hundred years. The king wants to protect his daughter from misfortune. He orders burn every spindle in the whole kingdom. Time passes and his daughter grows up to a beautiful, modest, good-natured and a wise princess. Everyone falls in love with her. One day, when she is 15 years old and the king and queen are not at home, she goes for a walk in the castle. She goes into every room and every chamber. Finally, she comes to an old tower. She climbs up the narrow stairs and reaches the door. There is a rusty key in the lock. She turns it and opens the door. She sees a little room and an old woman with a spindle in her, in her hand. She is spinning her flax. Good day, old mother, said the king's daughter. What are you doing? I'm spinning, said the old woman. That's interesting. Can I try it? She says. She takes the spindle and wants to spin too. Once she touches the spindle, she pricks her finger with it. Suddenly, she falls down on the bed and lays in a deep sleep. Once she falls asleep, all the people and animals in the castle fall asleep too. The king and the queen, the cook, the maids, the horses in the stable, the dogs in the yard, the pigeons on the roof, the flies on the wall, and so on. They all fall into a deep sleep. Time passes by, and not a leaf moves, but a hedge of thorn began to grow around the castle and covers it all, so nothing can be seen inside. People in the kingdom tell the story of this beautiful princess, and it goes about the country. From time to time, other king's sons come and try to get through the thorny hedge and get into the castle. They can't succeed and they are eventually caught in the thorny hedge and die. After long, long years, a king's son comes to that country and hears the story of the castle and the beautiful princess who sleeps for a hundred years. He also hears about the other prince's death. He says, I'm not afraid. I want to go and see the beautiful princess. When he arrives at the castle yard, the thorny hedge turns into beautiful bleak flowers 
and let him pass through. He goes into the castle and they become thorny hedge again. He sees sleeping horses in the t stable and the pigeons on the roof. He also not notices the cook in the kitchen. He is sleeping too. He goes on and reaches the great hall, sees all the maids and all the court sleeping. The king and the queen are by the throne. They are sleeping too. He goes on to another room, opens the door and sees the princess sleeping. She is so beautiful that she can't turn his eyes away. He stops and gives her a kiss. As soon as he kisses the princess, she opens her eyes and looks at him sweetly. They go down together. They see the king and the queen and all the court and animals awake. They all look puzzled. The king is so thankful to the prince and he orders the maids, the cook and all the staff get ready in a short time. We are celebrating a wedding soon. The princess and the prince get married soon and they live happily ever after. If you like my fairy tale, please put some up. Goodbye. See you next Saturday. See you. Bye.